Hi, John here. Today is Thursday the 15th of June 2017. I've just finished doing one video uh, for the Paramount Chiefs and I've just uh, got an email from Manahi, but that's private. Uh, it's with the Treasury, HM Treasury, um, with uh, claims that uh, natives here in New Zealand have a right to inheritance of any British citizen or we are citizens ourselves anyway living in New Zealand if you can prove it uh, from back in Moriori Manukau title in Britain, not here, in Britain. That's the only place of jurisdiction there with that name and there's a process to do it right uh, to claim. Now in 2012 I went over to um, the HM Treasury, I was on my way there to claim my inheritance to Moai um, Crown and my name uh, that I had um, a lawyer um, in Britain and a banker um, those two had put together a claim because they were familiar with the banks, the Lloyds Bank, Martin, uh, Martin, um, oh, I just forget his name now, Luc, Martin, Martin or something like that, and um, the other uh, lawyer. And they put things together. I'll, I'll have it one day, but I'm, I'm just saying that I got as far as Malaysia where I'm supposed to meet with uh, someone there in order to go from there to Britain and uh, so um, I was with a barrister here, my barrister um, Charles Hirschfield and he uh, said yep it's good to go and on that I went, that's when I went over, I was paying him every week but I will pick up again from that and it was legitimate as far as he was concerned as a barrister in New Zealand it was legitimate I went to see him last week but I haven't heard back from him yet um, at the time we discussed all the Manukau title that I was putting through with him um, back in 2012 and further back from that with the treaty claims of Mohi Manukau Y121 back to as far back as 2008 uh, when I was doing the Cook Street title under that Manukau company title in Edinburgh, Scotland. I haven't finished with that yet. I'm going to seize it on that basis of inheritance to these partnership titles of the Moriori Manukau title to Auckland and the rest of the country and the world for that matter. Uh, but uh, I'm going to ring Manahi right now and um, talk about that because he also has a interest in the matter but I won't be discussing Oops, looks like you don't have enough credit to make this call oh, here we go to again. top up please call 204 or text your bell here we go again, same old problem um, so I think I'll cut this video or make another one no, um, Recluner that's the lawyer's name, I think. Uh, Martin Cicluna. Cicluna, that's his name. Martin Cicluna. Oh, now I won't bother changing. I'll, I'll just go and log in and fill in the skinny. I'll put in a bit more this time. I'll put $20 in skinny. Sorry about that. Uh, just the usual thing. Um, I try not to put too much in because I can talk for ages and it just chews it all up. But there's an important call with Manahi. Um, phone number. Usual process. Better like this. I'd rather have it like this so I can control my finances and it can run away and when you're limited to how much you can do I'm limited to how much I can spend until we get our funding 
from Britain. I've got to do that with money. And I trust the man. I trust him. Well, Okay. I think I'm going to make another video because it spoils it all the time when I interfere with what I'm saying. Always happens. So that lawyer's name was Martin Cicluna. Cicluna. And the other guy was... Oh gosh, I can't even think of his name. Anyway, I'm going to carry on. And uh, from here, ring money up. I won't bother changing the video. I've already started, so we'll, we'll carry on. Manahi, it's John Wano here. Um, um, I'll give you a call again a little later. I uh, just want to uh, just talk about what uh, you've emailed me, and it looks like it's good because my brother um, um, was living there. Benton, he's from Tiki Tiki, and school teacher there at the time. So I think he had something going over there. Why the uh, lawyer there, and the Lloyds Bank, um, Martin Cicluna, picked me up as going there to pick up um, 16 million pounds of inheritance money. And I think that's where that came from, so we'll keep, pick up on that uh, shortly. Okay, bye. So that's that. I'm just saying... I was on my way to HM Treasury to claim my inheritance. There'll be quite a bit more than 16 million pounds. And um, also for the uh, Moai crown um, itself um, is what this lawyer um, put together with this other banker for me. And I think uh, as far as the CIB in New Zealand, as um, Criminal Investigation Bureau, they wrote back to me and said, it's a fraud. So I'm treating it as a fraud when I get to Britain. I'll go and chase that in the HM Treasury again with more titles to pursue for the whole of the world in the World Court with 970 million trillion trillion pound note beside the 16 million pound note that I'm claiming. Uh, so, um, since Manahi's not on the phone, uh, it's similar to what he's got here. Uh, but I won't say anything about that because that's private. Uh, I'm only saying that Manahi uh, has, um, uh, also has relations over there in England from Australia. So, that's as far as I'll go with that. But I know how to put it all together with him. And he and I are going on the Manukau Moriori title here in New Zealand and the Manukau Company in Edinburgh, Scotland, uh, Freemasons titles and also the Scottish Rite titles, but to Westminster and the Royal Court from Westminster Authority and jurisdiction of this flag. So that's what I'm saying uh, at this stage. We're up to the petitioning of King Ernest Augustus, the um, fifth into the throne, and we're going there as his partner. 
with these claims as inheritors of the trust that was the Queen Victoria Trust. Now it's the Maori Crown, King William IV Trust, with um, King Ernest Augustus, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and now New Zealand Pacific Islands and the world, New World Order, is him. Okay, so he's got a direct bloodline straight into King William III of Orange in Netherlands as being Dutch German. Okay, Dutch German uh, um, bloodlines on our two way contract. Third party is Queen on this side. First and second party to those kings, King William III, King William IV, King Ernest Augustus V, straight to us. That two-way contract with this claim in ancient treasury. I'm going to check ancient treasury under this authority of this flag and our paramount chiefs here. But I'm saying out of the three paramount chiefs, you have Manahi, Mahini, Parapara at the top of the Moriori Manukau title. Now, I must say this. The Manukau name is only Te Rawaikato Wharaherehere Manukau commercial contract native title in Scotland, Edinburgh. Only. Not the family. In order for the family to claim, they have to know what to do. And that's what I've been doing in the last eight years, since 2000, since 2008, as far back as 2004 with the Waitangi uh, Y121, Manukau Y121 uh, treaty claim, and also my own uh, Wānoa um, Moriori claim and the, Ma the Maui claim of my own in the Waitaki Tribunal, but I never took it any further, I just registered it as an interest in the land, a financial investment interest in the land, even though we haven't got no money invested in it, but it's the land. It's the land title that Te Rawaikato Wharaherehere Manukau put together in Britain, UK, in 1820 to 1830 period. Okay, so that's the title, that's commercial, and everyone in the world had the same opportunity as us to join in that. And I'm saying to everyone that's commenting on my videos, saying that it's better go back to natural law and also go back to uh, common law. That's true, but this is a commercial world with this flag that made all the cities and all the roads and all everything, the housing and the commercial contracts to keep people honest with what they trade in from one country to the other. You had to have a king's authority or somebody's authority uh, of admiralty. So Britain has got its own admiralty, Russia's got its own admiralty, China's got its own admiralty and India's got its own ad admiralty. So those being the biggest out of the uh, dragons, I so call it, dragons, we have our own entity as Moai Crown Dragon, Gold Dragon of God's inheritance to this world, right above the whole lot of them. We have the title of the Moai statue as being the memorial to God's earth, planet and spirit. He, the creator, He's the creator of this earth planet, and that's what we're making a claim to as natives. And the British have their own creator to the earth through the Bible and Jesus. And that's their one on this side, right? We have Moai statue straight up to God. No churches here, just Rapanui on the ground, on the stones on the ground in a square patch, standing right there in the open, no buildings, straight up. Right? That, that's our morai. The morai's now got a roof on it, so it keep you warm, and you can sleep in it. All right? That's today's morai. But in Rapanui, it's just 
a big bed of stones on the beach or anywhere in, on the land. That's the marae that you sit on the stones and pray straight up to the Atua or Earth God. We are DNA Earth crown on his head. That's our crown, dirt crown, not a metal crown. Bang with the hammer. It's already fashioned from the chiefs to make a face of God himself. And that's what Queen Victoria on this side stole in 1868 on her HM treasury, HM ship Topaz, and took him to England and stuck him in hiding for a hundred years and then bought it out and put it in the museum. That's our title. That's my own Wanoa title to Rapanui. He started to Mokonui. Mokonui on the east coast. Tiki Tiki. Rahui Marae. And St. Mary's Church, 1831. Birth certificates. Birth, deaths, marriages. This is what Manhi's going on about. The births, deaths, the marriages. That's the title. The live person, man, woman, title, child, to the planet Earth. That's got nothing to do with natural law. That's just a man saying, I was here first, and I didn't see anyone around but us. And then I saw your ship put up out of the sea with all your parkers on and all the other indigenous people coming and dropped on the land here. Here, I'm talking about New Zealand, right? So for those guys on my YouTube saying natural law, go back to natural law, and just switch like that, you got no money, mate. You gotta make your money first out of your natural law first before you start talking to this law of pirates who have hijacked this side and put it on this side and the Queen's side that probably got you there with your surname on that land. You better check everyone. Check your title and your surname and how the hell you got there against these guys with an original name of Parapara, Manaka, Mohini and Awano. I only talk for those ones. On this side, they were there in 1830, 1831, right? 1820, 1830, and that's on a bit of paper over here and here. The King's Paper document, King's Paper certificate, land there, you sitting there, the, the King put a certificate that says he owns the land. And when the Queen comes along, the Queen comes along with her paper from the same place, Westminster, and says, she owns the land. And I said, what the hell is this? And then they make the natives sign it that they have no law written on paper. These guys over here says that law, natural law, that's natural law. I tell you that we own the land and we got here at first and then you fellas came. But it's not written down, it's in wood, carved in wood. That's our natural law. But it doesn't make a bank in money to go and buy something from a shop that this lot here bought over here with the king. Bought their brains from those two-legged people here with this bit of paper and said, Manakas, we own that land. Then bowled all those inhabitants off the Manakas land. They were living there for a long time and said, no, we own this land. Then they, these white guys parked themselves on the land and said, we got the certificate. It says here, we own the land. We bought it from over there in England. You see? Little did you know that this chief, Te Rawaikato Wharahere Heere Malakau, was selling the land over there with these bits of paper that he put together with King William IV over there. And these white fellows came over with that bit of paper. You guys commenting. And they said, we got the paper here that says this Monica guy over there sold the land to us and we're taking this land. And they took it on that basis with this bit of paper. Now that's floated around the world after this is a precedent that set the case right through the world and all the other native lands with this bit of paper. A commercial contract bit of paper that said, I paid for this land with a deposit in England. And they said, go, but you take the risk of buying the land because it hasn't been surveyed yet. Right? So on that basis, they came here with this bit of paper, which wasn't surveyed, but 
Till I woke up, till I had put the documents together over there, and, and was putting those on the certificate at the time, 1820 to 1830. Right? And then as soon as King William got in, in 1830, he certified those documents. Right? By then, the other Manukau's over here had got the information through to Te Rewaikato Wharahere in Manukau, through the bishops in the church, St. Mary's Church in Tikitiki, 1831, sent the documents over. And then that formed the birth certificate for the Manukau family in 1830. See, you see the picture? 1830. The Manukau's over here put the title together in 1830 with that birth certificate from over there, between here and there, and Te Rewaikato Wharahere there, Manukau Native Land Court in Edinburgh, Scotland, right in the registry office, magistrate himself, William Simon, right? So he wrote the birth certificates out to follow in after these immigrants to come in here and used it in the church first, in Tiki Tiki, 1831, they started using this document for as a native land title of a registry of births, deaths and marriages. That's what money he's going on about now. Now, he's got a claim to his ancestors in England, as much as I had mine in place in 2012 with my Wānoa inheritors over there, living, my brother, okay? And so we're at this stage now where we're putting our heads together. This is quite separate to Bundy, the other Paramount Chief, and he's Cook Island people, and he's Tahitian people straight to the islands. I won't say which island he came from, I'm only talking about me being Rapanui, East Island, with our East Cape title, Tepito, to Tepito, East Island, as the Wa Noa title, as a hapu in Rapanui, and a surname here, bought as a surname. Okay? That's after the Moriori and the Cook Island people settled here. The Moriori was already here. They were the first here, okay, from Chatham Islands, or Rekuhu Island. Here, they were the first, then the Cook Island second, then the Maui third. Okay, you got, you got it? Tahitians come third. And then everybody, the migrations after that. Okay, so in that order, Bundy. So at this stage, Manahi is leading the charge in the courts as a JP, Justice of the Peace, uh, original Moriori Manakao title holder to that title over there, okay? I'm going there for the overall title to the native lands with the Maui statue and the Wānoa people, the original people on Rapanui, Rapanui to Mokanui at the East Cape Tiki Tiki and our Whakangiangi Wānoa land rocks, Marangai Roa, Marangai Roa, Marai and the Rahui Marae, those two Marae's on the Fotiki Ruaki Waipu boundary area of Uetaha Chief, Paramount Chief, to me, direct. Okay, so Desmond Wano has got his moko on his face as being that title of the Moko Nui and the Moko Nui. Urupa, the burial ground where my father and mother are buried, straight to Rapa Nui, Rapa Nui. See, the two names are the same DNA, just by the name and the Wa Noa name. Wa, beginning of time and space, Noa, the law, L-O-R-E, law of God, Atua, straight up. Straight up, no church, no roof, just a bed of rocks, like I'm saying. Okay, so that's the story about this commercial flag law, L-A-W, 
in the natural law that we go under, I don't know about your law of natural law, but I'm going under the native law in America, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, native law, and all the Pacific Islands, natural law of native is these paramount chiefs and myself, the Maui, crown, on his head, statue standing in Dunedin with Desmond and his family down there. That's where he's been living with his pakehas, his friends. That's his title to the South Island crown. All right? Don't laugh, people, because it's true. Deeds of truth, I'm saying on this video, has been locked into legacy as the three-point star on the four-point square inside a circle of light. Sun Ra at midday, Rapanui, 6 a.m. in the morning, Mokonui, that's Desmond, sitting right there with his Moko, big face, from Big Shaman, up here at 12, big face at 6 a.m., and Ekra Ghana, the kingdom of Ghana, African, and the Nubians, and any other black African, is our DNA. Those three are our DNA. And that's 6 p.m. on Phoenix Hotel on the beach in Accra, Ghana. Accra, connected to Mali and connected to Giza in Africa. That's a black title, not a white title, a black title to the pyramid and the obelisk Sun Ra title that these mischievous Catholic Romans frogged. They stole those memorial inheritance titles of the black people in that country and took it to Rome and England and France and New Zealand and everywhere else and New York and Washington DC and put the obelisk as if they own it as white people saying they are, that's their title. No, no, it's not. It's these paramount chiefs and those African paramount chiefs and these commercially paramount chiefs in the Pacific Islands and all right through the world and Canada and America and Australia and New Zealand. That's those immemorials belonging to them. Then the Moai statue here is, doesn't belong to the Queen. Who stole that too? They stole our memorial titles to God's planet Earth. There. You got that? You white people? Mischievous? On this side, living in New Zealand, sucking off this side's mana, mana, and authority of jurisdiction in a natural world, law, L-O-R-E, and man's law, L-A-W, of money. This is a money flag, and the Moa is a law of natural law. No money, but the land itself and the world of Earth, globe, that's his title, not these white ones, the mischievous ones at the bottom of the Earth. The planet spins that way, right? That way, clockwise, with north down and south up. Right? South that way and north that way. You just take your hand and spin it. This planet points north there, south up here. And when you go that way with your left hand, that's north and that's south, right? It's that way that the Earth is spinning, looking down with the sun up here, not the sun down here. You're going the wrong way. This way. It's horror up here in black Africans and dark Pacific Islanders getting burnt in the sun, right? That's why all the Eskimos and all the Chinese and all the British are white. They are under here with no sun. Hardly any sun. Right? That, that, that's the difference. If there was, they're trying to spin the world up the other way so that the north is up the top. So then they would get black and these ones will turn white. Not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Because I already know. The Maui tells me so. So the earth has shifted over 
right? It's gone over about 20 degrees or so. That's natural. That's natural. It could over center and spin. That's what these mongrels are trying to do with this fracking and frequency uh, chemtrails and all the rest of it to try and alter God's planet. Well, you're going to get shot to bits because your law on this side, LAW, is not going to match this law, God's law. Okay? He will have the last say. And people will have the last say. So that's the, that's the commercial side. Uh, don't question it because the natural law is not going to suddenly overturn the commercial side of the king's flag and what he has done over 183 years. You're going to have to take 183 years to undo it, to turn it to natural law and have money of some sort to trade with other countries. Quite impossible without digital and all the rest of the things to go with. We've got the take pay and the Maui pound note digital. We only got a limited amount, limited edition of pound notes, the real pound notes that you see with King Ernest Augustus the fifth head on it. He's the inheritor of these kings, King George the third, King George the fourth, King Ernest Augustus the first, King William the fourth, and <coughs> uh, that those kings bloodline and King. Uh, Solomon's Mines and King uh, uh, William Conqueror. Those lines, those bloodlines are uh, this way. And the bank uh, and the World Court. Right? The Freemasons running World Court, that's our court, that's this way. And I'm saying all that inheritance of 970 million trillion trillion pound notes is a fact. And that's British, between British Navy. First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones, and these Paramount Chiefs, and me. Okay? Me, I'm driving the bank as the sheriff and the one that picks up the tab from the debtors on this side to the creditors on this side. Alright? So, once again, the flag here is being given by Britain on the land as a king's commercial trading bank, military protectorate, flag of free passage through the world, and its bank authority to seize back lands off this side, the Queen's commercial land, on a ship sunk by this ship of Admiralty, sinks this vice admiral second hand ship authority. Okay, so that's what's happening with Cook Street. It's second hand, can't prove anything. With this video, as citation against you, Simon Brent Roundtree and James Pierce Brown, and all your 43 people that stopped me going about my duty on my land and reigning in you Panama papers Bank fraud, crooks, pirates, and thugs. John Key is driving these thugs. You can't get your name offline. It's on there. It's on my Facebook sites. 80, 90 of them now. 90 Facebook sites and at least 1080, 1080 YouTube videos, including this one, to make it that many videos against you. It's evidence in any court. Our court is the World Court. That's King William III of Orange's court of Magistrate Court. Bank Court. Land Title Court. Those people who are talking natural law, you're going to have to undo that. You'll need a big army. You'll need gun force or some sort of force to shift that law. This flag will shift anything. I'm telling you that with the right natives. It'll shift anything in the road of commerce, banking and land transfers.
birth certificates, all the certificates, belongs to Westminster government and nobody else. Okay, that's our partnership ship. Now, Theresa May is the Lord of the Treasury and Philip Hammond is the new uh, ex-Chancellor. Um, um, that's the treasurer. He's the treasurer with the checkbook. Now, I'm going to speak to him on this video. Philip Hammond, I wrote to you before. You've acknowledged that you received my mail, email, as Maui Crown, King William IV Trust. You've accepted it by re replying, responding to my emails. The proof is there. Now that you are the treasurer, we're talking on a bank level. This is a bank flag, the only bank flag, the only king's flag, the only commercial trading bank flag, and the only military protectorate of our business between me and you. I'm the creditor here and treasurer of the Maui Powerhouse Bank here in Britain, in London. Philip Hammond. You haven't written to me in writing yet, so I'm going to use Manahi Parapara Mohini, just a little piece, in a newly formed Titi Marae Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court Bank, here, straight to Westminster Magistrate Court Bank in Westminster and straight into the World Court as our jurisdiction of authority with this flag to seize stolen property from you and your HM Treasury under Queen Elizabeth II and Queen Victoria. In our Queen Victoria Trust we are seizing that back into our Maui Crown King William IV Trust on this side. Okay, you get that? That's our partnership. You're a third party, Philip Hammond, you're a third party, Theresa May, <coughs> and your government. Right, so you've got that now to look to, us coming there straight into Westminster, and now that Sinn Féin, or Jerry Adams, of Northern Ireland is coming into Westminster, but he won't bow to you, Queen Elizabeth II, because I'm telling you, on this video, you're a pirate. We're not bowing to you. Neither is Sinn Féin for Northern Ireland, because we are from Belfast. Patrick, down Patrick, St. Patrick's Church is my own Cosgrove family from there to here and my Maui Wānoa royal family Tahitian title to these native lands right through the Pacific Islands title founding doctrines of discovery title okay you got that it's a memorial the Maui statue standing in London is my title and he's standing in Brussels. That's my title. That's my title. Theresa May, Moai Crown, is standing in those two places. And with King William's New York Stock Exchange, he's standing over there. The real Moai is my title. And standing in Washington, D.C., Washington, D.C., White House, that's my title. With this King William, the third of Orange and King William the fourth of Westminster, those two kings, as my partner with these paramount chiefs, the three of them coming there, open the gates of Westminster and Buckingham Palace and 10 Downing Street open the door, we're coming in to take over with King Ernest Augustus the fifth reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and now King of 
New Zealand and Pacific Islands and a new world order in Brussels, Dutch, German, land owner, ship title of Admiralty flag that belongs to them, that gave to us. They are partners in a commercial private contract in the magistrate court. You got that? That's who we are. We are owning us in front of the world on this video. Citation, fact, evidence, deeds of truth, title holders of the Moai Crown, King William the Fourth Trust, and all that inheritance. 970 million trillion trillion pound note against you lot on this side, Theresa May, and your elite people right through the world are going to lose everything to the common law people, the natural law, the natural law people of the world who joins the Moai Crown King William IV Trust under this flag of Admiralty, Court Martial, Financial Martial Law of the Sea, title holders, shareholders in a commercial contract, two party, third party here, two party here, contract, default contract, third parties, Queen and all her commercial contracts are now rescinded, seized on with a writ warrant from this side and the Paramount Chiefs and myself, the Sheriff Banker, creditor. Uh, do I make myself clear now, or do I have to say it many more times? That's what it is I'm telling you today. And Manahi will put things together with me. This is the Manukau title, Manukau Company in Edinburgh, Scotland, uh, Bundy. Uh, you'll have to wait till we sort that one over there. You deal with the land here and its titles as a separate entity from this British Manukau titles over the whole country. You have to individualise the titles underneath the paramount of these titles here <coughs> with Hirawini Karaka, the British magistrate court surname, Karak. Okay, he's a paramount chief because he's a Maori on this side and a British on this side, right? The Maori is taken out of there, put back in the Moai. Original, originee, land owner, commercial land owner, original native land title owner. This side is a legal landowner which has a title borrowed from the kings because the queen didn't go in the sea of admiralty to seize lands and conquer them around the world the king on this side did and his warrior chiefs okay who signed the documents with the king this lot here was australia new south wales government of queen victoria that signed with their maori made up tribe Maori is a homemade, fake tribe, Iwis, that has no power over the hapu, native natural law people. We are converting the fraud out of the site into cash to give back to all the natural law and uh, native law, L-O-R-E, people of the world. That's everyone who joins Maui Crown and its shareholding is £25 per share for life. That's it. One off. That's it. That's to make a contribution to put your name on the birth certificate here and take it off this side here. Take the birth certificate off here and put it over here with your mobile phone number as your registration number. That's it. This side credits you what we take from this side in money, land and assets, all the assets of the Crown, Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth and King George VI, 
side of the contract and puts it back into King George III and his sons, King William IV, that gave us this flag, King Ernest Augustus I, the brother of King William IV, and King George IV. Those four kings is this flag connected to William the Conqueror and King Solomon consolidated into this flag in the world court belonging to these kings. Right? This is the emperor title. This is a fake title of queens. Female, male line dominant. Salic law forbids women succeeding to Westminster to the throne. They put queens in the throne here by fraud means and Rothschild banks. This Moai powerhouse bank will demolish and seize on the Bank of England and the Rothschild's assets with these kings against these kings, King George VI and his corrupted bloodlines. These bloodline kings are separate to these bloodline kings. You got that? These native chiefs are different to these iwi chiefs, CEOs only. They have no title. They have no whakapapa or lineage to the land that they are sitting on or occupying only. They are only sitting on bits of paper that protects them not at all. Their queen has flown. They have no protection from these kings. They can't get protection from these kings because these kings made the law that they're living on, on this side. You got it? You got it now? So the mobile phone, you expect it to have credit in. When I let the shares out, in each country of 250 countries under this flag, that means it's a British title. Straight around the world, through the mobile, straight out credit from the debtor debtors on this side. Levy debtors, levy credit, straight to you from what we recover. So people, we are petitioning the right king. He's already a king by default. He's already a king of Britain, UK. And there can't be another king to replace a king that's already there. So you can forget about King William, no, Prince William and Prince Harry and Prince Charles and the Queen abdicating to anybody. She can't abdicate to a real king because her coronation was fake. It was fake. And Queen Victoria is King William's niece. She got her authority from him on this side. So this side seize the whole lot back onto this side because of the fraud. There's all that war has been made. This is a war flag. This is a declaration of war flag. A state of emergency when there's a state of emergency in the countries, this flag will jump in and seize them back into here. By default, the Queen took off to EU Parliament in Brussels, thinking that she's going to shift all the wealth there. She's probably put all the money there, but we're going in with this flag to seize the whole lot. Okay, you get that? how quick it is. It's straight out theft from here thinking she's going to hide under our partner, the second party. She's a third party and all you lot under her and the Rothschild banks and the Freemasons, you're all third party on this side to Westminster Magistrate Court on this side and King's title. King's Bench, Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. It's the same title here with the paramount equal to the king because of the native title. They had to have a native in the courts besides their surrogate king, captain of the ship, and sheriff inside the court, which is the registrar of births, deaths and marriages, sitting there running the judges, not the boss. The judge is not the boss. The sheriff is. You got that? The sheriff is picking up the bank money for the bench bank and the bar is the bar on the dry land. They're using the Union Jack on this side for their bar law to jump on the land from the sea through the bar onto the land and into the dock. They brought the dock on the sea 
that they landed on into caught on the dry land with their sea flag, the Admiralty flag, their Admiralty flag of only a boat out in the sea and put it on our dry land. This side, the king gave us this flag, flag on dry land without a bar. No bar. Straight on land. This land is ours. And wherever the flag goes around the world in 250 countries, that is the same creditor beneficiaries of this state as commercial from a natural law. It has natural law and native law, native being you, white man, blue man, red man, all the same on this side. You're all the same. There's no one higher than the other. You all got a number and you're all equal in status on this side. This side is elites. You have less with elites on the Queen's side because the elite families, we're going to take it all off them and stick it on that side. You can see ISIS doing that now. They've set up ISIS to kill everybody, kill all the white people, so they can use ISIS as on contract through their devilish courts with a bar on it when there's no bar on this side. This one is going to demolish that one because it broke the laws of the king. Right? The Queen's agents, Crown Corporations, agents and Rothschild Banks and Church of State, Church, Church of State and their United Nations and their NATO and their IMF and World Bank set from that side have corrupted the King's Bench Court. So the King's Bench sees the World Bank because we're the owners of that in partnership. How does that sound? You got that? You, you, you got that now? Because if I can't make it any simpler than that, then there's something wrong with you. So, people, join when we let the shares go and the petition, when we petition King Ernest Augustus V as default contract of this lot, debtors, default back to the King to put order back into the world of the King's New World Order in Brussels, straight here to New Zealand, Auckland, in the Maui Crown, King William IV Commonwealth country of the world, federal state government here, to that federal state government debt we're setting up in Brussels, in the Magistrate Court in Westminster. So that's all for now. I'll see you later. Um, Time now. Um, before this video runs out. I've got videos running all the time. What's happening here? Time now is 10 o'clock, 10.06 a.m. And I'll be getting ready to go up the gym. I'm just waiting for Manahee uh, to...